In this tutorial in Severlink PowerDirector, we're going to work together on learning how to scroll across a picture uh, to make it look as though the camera lens is slowly moving from one part of a still picture to another. It's a very common technique. And to do that, I'll take a picture. Let me take uh, this one here of a house and put it on the timeline. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind when you're before you begin to edit a picture is how long do I want this uh, pan to work, this motion across the picture. My default duration for this is five seconds. I'm going to click on the duration button and raise, change it to 15. I can always shorten it, but it's easier to work with a longer time frame. And then I'll edit the picture. I can double click on it or right click on it and go edit or I can just uh, click on it once and press the F2 key. That will get me into my picture in picture designer. So here is my photograph. Now, if I'm going to move from one part to the other, I need the picture to be larger than my display screen. Right now it's the same size. So I have to do what's counterintuitive and click on the zoom out button to make my preview screen smaller and then I'll click on any corner of the picture and make the picture larger. So we're going to move from one place to the other. So let's say we're going to start over here by the fence. If I'm going to start by the fence, I need to use a keyframe. We have exercises on keyframes, but in essence, a keyframe basically freezes the location of your shot and the size of your shot at the same moment in time. Position, scale, opacity, and rotation. We're just going to deal with position and scale. So at the beginning of the shot, we start with our position right here in this moment with the scrubber. So my position is locked in. Then I'm going to go to the end of my shot. I'm going to move my picture and we're going to go up to the balcony. And you notice the minute I let go over here, it sets the keyframe. Now, the easy thing not to do is not to move the scrubber, but still move the picture. And the problem is that will just change the location at the initial point. So the key thing with keyframing is always remember, put your scrubber where you want before you make any changes. And I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll click on the preview arrow here. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, we're moving down the lower left corner. We cross the evergreen. We move up. And we wind up at the balcony. Now the key thing on keyframing is if I want this to happen more quickly, what I do is I move the keyframes closer together. That's why I wanted to give myself 15 seconds here uh, on my, um, on my uh, clip in order to give myself the ma uh, maximum time. If I needed more time, what I'd have to do is I'd have to resize the picture and then move the keyframe. If I want, want it to happen more quickly, all I do is put the, the uh, mouse, which takes a, the look of a, a, a finger pointer, on the keyframe and I drag it to the left and now it will move from this point in time to this point in time uh, and then uh, it will freeze. So we'll start again. We'll hit the play pre in the previous screen. It moves across. It'll come to this keyframe on position and it'll freeze and it'll stay there for the duration. Now in this case if I want the clip shorter I can cut the clip right after the end of the keyframe. And uh, so I see my keyframe is at this location here. It's at uh, uh, seven minutes, nine frames. So anytime after that, I could cut my clip and make it shorter. So this is a way in which you can, uh, let me click on OK now, and we'll play it in the, in the large screen. Should be the same result. And so it moves across and then it stops that long and then it freezes. And so, like I said, I could go ahead if I don't want it frozen there, I could just go ahead and 
do a control T split the clip and delete this other section here let me show you another one that's a lot more common than than moving across the backyard here's a picture of a wedding and uh, what we'd like to do is move across the faces so again I'll press my F2 key to edit it oh I forgot I need a duration how long do I want this to be well let's let's give this a duration of uh, 20 seconds we'll make this long again I'd rather have it too long than too short you saw how I could shorten it and then I'll edit it with the F2 key we'll go ahead and we'll shrink our display screen which makes it easier for us to enlarge the image we'll go across the faces here and we'll move it up just a little bit okay now we'll set our position at the beginning and then I will move all the way to the end I can move the scrubber or I can move the uh, play but play uh, triangle there and then at the end uh, let's see I'm using the left key because the left and right arrow make sure that I don't accidentally go up or down and if I were doing this it looks like I cut off one head so I might want to make it bigger and I don't need to get into the edge but we'll finish right there now at the now with the scrubber here um, I click on the diamond to set a keyframe it set the keyframe over here at the end and so we'll go ahead and we will uh, click on OK and now we'll see how this clip will happen to play we start here and we move across these uh, faces of this older picture of a wedding party and so that's an easy way to uh, take normal pictures and use this uh, camera focus effect in CyberLink PowerDirector.